What's going on YouTube? Ryan Terrio 96 back again. You know me. I'm the man with the master plan. The Copenhagen dipping Browns bidding son of a bitch. You know, unfortunately, I'm not dipping Copenhagen in this video. I have dun 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 Stokers Wintergreen. Oh my god, let me find it. Cut longer for longer lasting flavor. Read this one. A great dip for a fair price by Mr. Bobby Stoker. Hey, you know, can't argue with that. Neither of them her eyes, I'll tell you that much. No, we're, we're in the process of getting back in football mood, so I had to get my football practice hat out of hiding. <laughs> oh, you suck. I don't know if you can see it fall. I don't know if the camera caught it, but like just some fell right back into the can. Let's go back in for part two. Of course, I'm spitting in my Nestle uh, Pure Life water bottle, like always. So now, since we got me actually putting a dip in out of the way, and me talking about the dip, let me get into my shout-outs. Today I have 13, 13, that's 1, 3, 13. So, without further ado, let's get in to the shout out right got this big old sheet of paper I don't know if you can see it and I kind of got it cut crazy but I got this big old piece of paper filled with shout outs this is a right big one but still <laughs> we got tow truck and dipper the old man all right always got his Copenhagen I admire that about you, you know you've made great videos TTD you know I know you're a Boise State fan, you know it sucks, you got us, I mean it just sucks, I don't even want to get into it. Come on down the Tiger Lane, you know, LSU, keeper of the dip, you know, I, I'm not sure uh, who his college football team is, but I'm hoping you're smart and you're going with LSU. <laughs> oh, this next one, Chub Fucker, oh my god, great video, you know, you're a good buddy of mine. But it's just your football team. They suck. I mean, come on, man. You need to go with a real team. A real team. Bet Nick Saban, sorry he left LSU. We got Logan Phoenix, you know. We got Leo Daughtry, Jacob Wells, Cameron Davis. We also have Gridiron Dipper, Just Dipping 74. Dip in your lip 17. Cope Dipping Chick. I like that name, by the way. Caleb Cooper. Oh, come on, Caleb. I know you got a fancy name. <laughs> Just mess with you, buddy. And also, last but not least, Pack Some Grizzly 123. So that's my 13 shout outs, guys. You know, you got them out of the way quick. Said what I had to say about my uh, beliefs as far as football-wise, NCAA. You know, just for a second, it's March. March Madness is in full swing. I just want to take this time to point out to say that I am pulling for Butler, the Butler Bulldogs, to win the NCAA tournament. You know, uh, it's just the way I, I felt it would go. I feel Butler can win it this year. And I know they got to the, the, the finals two years in a row and lost both years. So, uh, 
I feel Brad Stevens can finally coach them to a win. In the finals, you know, uh, he sure is no stranger to the finals. So I want to thank Dan Afro Dipper for making that uh, bracket. You know, uh, if you follow college basketball, go talk to Dan. Yep, go talk to Dan. You know, guys, I also want to take this time to uh, do my promo for the, my video. Dip Street, Cross Country Dippers. If you're not in it, you'll find yourself in it right after this video. They're both great groups. Um, Chub Fucker has done a great job running Dip Street. You know, I'm proud of him and uh, his success with Dip Street. You know, we're almost 800 members strong. I remember I joined Dip Street when they only had like 70. You know, I was like the 77th member or whatever. Now we're almost 800 strong, you know. I've been in, uh, say I've been in Dip Street for about, uh, about six, seven months now. You know, it's only about a year and uh, three, four months old. I've been there about seven months, going on eight months, you know. Great group. I feel at home with Dip Street, you know. And, uh, around the time when Chubb wasn't sure if he was going to delete Dip Street or keep it, uh, Charles Runyon decided to make a group called Cross Country Dipper, otherwise known as CCB. Another great group, you know, I'm an administrator in there, a couple other guys. He's done a great job running that group, you know. Feel at home there too. I have two homes in Facebook. And I'm always checking. I know I haven't been posting in CCB as much, but I'm always posting in Dip Street to comment on y'all stuff. So, if you're not a part of the greatest two dip groups on Facebook, go join now. You had the president stamp, you know, you had the president seal. Go join it, damn it. What are you waiting on? Oh yeah, you're waiting on my great ass video to be done. You know, don't cut me off yet. Don't cut me off. So, that was my plug-in. Now guys, uh, me being a southern gentleman that I am, I find myself setting in some southern ways. You know, and, uh, I'm very closed-minded about a lot of stuff. And uh, one of those things is a very controversial topic that I was closed-minded about, you know. Um, and that's the topic of homosexuality. You know. I was very closed-minded, you know. Now, I believe that it was a man and a woman, that's it. You know, no other way around it. And uh, my best friend, who's a girl, we've been best friends for about 10 years now. Uh, about four months ago, she decided to come out the closet and say she was a lesbian. My first thought was, damn, what took you so goddamn long? <laughs> no, it wasn't. My first thought was, okay, Wow, I said, you know how I feel about that homosexuality, you know, I, you know I feel it's for a man and a woman only. So she's like, yeah, I know. Uh, she's like, I hope you don't stop being friends with me. And she's like, we've been friends for over 10 years. Uh, can, can we still be friends? I'm like, yeah, I mean, no doubt. I mean, we're not going to stop being friends just because you're a lesbian, you know. Uh, no, I, I still didn't like the fact that but trying to persuade her, I'm like, you sure you don't like me? Sure, positive, 100 percent positive, you don't like dudes. She's like, yeah. And then about two months ago, uh, she found her girlfriend. We were a mutual friend of ours. Uh, mutual friend had a boyfriend. His sister was lesbian. So they decided it would be a good idea to put them two up. So they started talking. About a month later, they ended up making it official. So uh, once they make it official, my like, gosh. Really? Now my best friend has a girlfriend. Whoop the freaking dick. You know, and uh, I, was, I was still closed minded at this point. Until I started thinking. 
why am I not giving them a chance, you know? And you know, I've been best friends with this girl for 10 plus years, you know? I just met her girlfriend recently, but still, they're pretty cool people. Other than the fact that they're lesbian, I mean, there's nothing wrong with them. And even with them being lesbian, there's nothing wrong with them. So, so I started, my mind went from closed about the homosexuality topic to somewhat of, it's time for us to grow up, see how they react. I mean, they act, I wouldn't say they act just like a man and a woman, but they are actually starting to love each other. In my, as I see that love progress, mind goes from semi-open to open about this topic. You know what I mean? If two women can love each other like a man and a woman can, then there's nothing wrong with that in my eyes. You guys might think something's wrong with that, that's you. I thought the same way until I actually got a first-hand experience on it. You know, so basically the morale of that story is Let's try to be open-minded in our daily life. It might not be homosexuality. It might be anything. I know us down south folks, not even just the down south folks, the people up north and the Midwest, the West Coast, East Coast, wherever you may be, there's somebody you know, and it might be you, who's close-minded about something, whether it's one thing or whether it's a lot. Close minded about it. And if that's you and you're watching this video, let's just try to make ourselves a bit more open minded to stuff. Like I have, you know. Once that homosexuality broke my closed minded barrier, I started looking at other stuff that I was closed minded about. I'm like, gosh, I was closed minded about a lot of shit. And uh, I really didn't have all the facts, you know. Because humans, we make assumptions make predictions about stuff whether it's true or not we just follow the stereotype okay and that stereotype is predicted by the media and we just watch tv you know on the internet 24 7 on our smartphones you know we got our iphones or droids or whatever and we just see all this stuff and it makes it really makes up our minds for us you know and we just have to certain things we have to break away from that media and make up our own mind about certain topics you know, I spent my whole life and everyone in my family you know we were closed minded about that and I'm pretty much the only one who has an open mind about it now and I'm 17 you know there's 17 years and I just started to realize that wow you know a woman and a woman could love each other just like a man and a woman can but I'm not here to try to make you like homosexuality. I'm just here to try to say maybe we should be a bit more open-minded about certain stuff. So, with that being said, Ryan Terrio, 96, signing off. Man with the master plan, Copenhagen dipping, Brown spitting, Stokers dipping, Grizzly dipping. I don't care what it is, I'm putting it in my lip as long as it ain't shit on. <laughs> Something wrong. But still. Y'all have a good one. I'll be back.